Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're here with a game for the channel called Trail Makers. So Trail Makers is a, I guess like scrap mechanic-y, terra techie kind of game. Basically you build stuff. There's blocks, you get them, you build them, you do all kinds of crazy crap, and sometimes you blow up. Uh, so there's a very, very alpha, pre-alpha kind of thing going on with the game right now. This is very early access. I managed to get a code from the developer. So all that there is right now is like a little map over here. We got, well, little map. It looks pretty big, but basically this is like a giant racetrack, essentially. You have to, you know, circumvent various dunes and, and jumps and islands and things of that nature by building different vehicles and kind of getting from point A to point B. And, you know, you got to fly a little bit. You got to battle the wind. You got to do all kinds of stuff. But that's, that's not the real fun of the game. The real fun of the game is building ridiculous crap and seeing how well it does. You can save all your blueprints, too. So this is in the sandbox mode. So we have all of the items that we could use to make various vehicles of destruction. And I know a lot of people like to make vehicles very realistic. They like weight distribution and lift and drag and probably all that crap. Well, I'm not really good at all that. So what I like to do is just put engines on things. And if it doesn't work, I add more engines. And if that doesn't work, I'll add some freaking rocket power to it as well. This is the very first vehicle that the game has you build. Look, it works just fine. I know, you can't. You guys can't believe it, right? Pretty unusual for old Gray. But legitimately, look, it turns left and right and all that kind of crap. Now, I went, of course, and made something of a flying vehicle because I think you pretty much have to. Uh, and it's required in, in every game like this. Now, there's a lot of different blocks here. And this, like I said, there's still there's still a lot of early access to this. But there's, like, some helicopter blades and things of that nature. I have not messed with the helicopter blades yet. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I tried to get them spinning, but they don't spin very fast. The bike seat doesn't work, uh, nor does the monster truck wheel. You can, like, get it out. But it, it doesn't actually connect to anything yet. The developer did mention that there's some issues with that at the moment, so they're trying to fix that. Now, what I did want to build, however, was a giant dune crawler. And this is... <laughs> this is the beast that I have right now. Look at this lovely bastard. Oh, it looks glorious. Yes. Now, the only issue here is that you can see I've got, hold on here, I've got some swivel pieces in the middle right open here. I got like an extra one over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll just keep making it bigger and bigger. But I wanted to make like a giant like 10 by 10 or something like that. It needs a lot more engines. It needs all the engines. And we're gonna put all the engines on it. But one of the problems is that all the turning elements are fighting against one another. So we've gotta fix that. So what I have to do is, and building in this game can be kind of a pain in the ass by the way, because like, you have to just barely aim correctly to get all these little gray pieces lined up to build. So I think I'm gonna remove all of these turning elements over here and we'll just put like regular blocks in there. And then we'll leave like maybe only the front turning. We'll get rid of this over here, take one of these regular blocks and uh, well now you're gonna get to see what this is like. So here we try it. Oh wow, that worked like first try. Okay, normally it's not that easy guys, all right? I got lucky that time. Go ahead and remove this one over here and put down another little twofer. Go ahead and kind of flip-flop you around like this And Okay, wow, all right, well, yeah, so I guess the game, the building's really easy. I'm just a moron. Do you guys expect any different? Some people are like, if you could build a car in my summer car, you could build anything. I don't know, man. I've never been fantastic at, uh, at like, sandboxy building games like this. I mean, I gave it my friggin' best shot, man, but, uh... You know, I have I have a simple brain, all right. It's like Tim the Toolman Taylor. You you remember him? You got you guys you guys old enough to remember him? Basically, it's just more power. That's that's my answer to everything. More power. Oh, there we go. I think this is gonna work, man. Hold on, let's try this out. Now we only have one turning guy in the front. Yes. Oh, it's like a little snake creature. It's working just fine. The front. This is interesting. The little front thing. Look at it. It it flips every once in a while. See it? See it right there? How it's rotating. I kind of wonder what would happen. Okay, you know what we need real fast? We need more engines. Like, all the engines. Now, can you select multiple engines at a time here? I know that you can click and drag. But the problem is, when you click and drag, you can end up selecting, like, a million things. I guess not. Let's go ahead and just start throwing down just, like, a ton more engines real fast. Mmm. That looks to be the appropriate amount of engines. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah! 
Now we're- Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, oh, I did not expect this. All right, we're fine. We're fine. It, wow, this thing is a lot more snaky than I- Look at it go, baby. Come on, get up the hill. Get up the hill. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, this is sweet. Ooh, it can turn all different directions, and it still survives. All right, sort of. Now it, now it broke apart. I think with a little extra speed, we can make our way up this hill. Hold on here. Now, we, you don't want to turn too much. Oh, God. Oh, we're starting to do the, we're starting to do the slither.io thing. Oh, God. Oh, all right. Tail end's kind of flip-flopping around. No big, come on, baby. Just get up the hill. Just get up the hill like Grace says. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. Oh, I've done too much. I've broken the game. I've broken the game. Ah, epilepsy warning. Epilepsy warning. What if I get rid of all this? No, it didn't work at all. Why not? Okay, epilepsy problems are gone. So, I kind of wonder if the big issue here is like our tail because our tail isn't quite as wide as the rest of the- Oh my god. <laughs> as the rest of the vehicle? I'm not really sure. Um, we could mess around with that a little bit more. I like the idea here, though. Like, I, I like- I like the- the crawly snake-like creature that has been developed here. I just think, like, we could make it a little bit better. I think part of the problem was our tail end here is a little bit too high on the horse. So now we get to play the Connect the Dots mini game. This is my favorite part. You gotta kind of get, you don't want to put it too far over. You want it right kind of on the, the piece here, right there. There we go. I think that we're, yes. I think that we're connected. Okay, that looks slightly more level. Let's try this. All right, let's see if it's still all jacked up. It is definitely still all jacked up. Maybe the tail end, maybe I'll take the swivel off the tail end. Maybe that really doesn't need to be there. I wonder how this does, whoa, hey, okay. I was gonna say, I wonder how it does over the rocks, kind of doing the little off-road thing. Screw you, rocks, all right. Um, it can do pretty well, or it could blow into pieces as well. It could also do that. Okay, let's, uh, let's get rid of that, and let's just kind of, Put this thing just straight on the, oh god, just straight on the back end portion of this. Right, right, oh, right over, oh, oh lord, okay, yep, right, yes, yeah, yeah, right there. That's it, that's how we do it, there we go. Now the back wheels are still a little bit off-centered, so that could also be causing issues. Oh, alright, we're getting a little bit less wobble. Oh, well, when I say a little less wobble, I mean like a very little less wobble. Oh, come on, baby, steer. There we go, yes. Weight distribution? Great care is not about your weight distribution. I just want to get up this hill with this thing. Come on, baby, I know you can do it. No, don't do the freaking Texas Chainsaw Backbreaker. Come on. Okay, something I found. When I was going in reverse, it was oddly steady. So I think what we have to do is probably take out the front swivel over here and keep the middle swivels in. And maybe that'll have everything working good. So, uh, let's take out that. We'll just take a little pad over here. We'll kind of connect the dots with it. Not like that. Like that. There we go. There. How's that look? All right. Okay. Should be a little bit more stable now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, man, we're still getting, like, mid-wobble. Whoa, whoa. We're getting a lot of mid-wobble when we start going uphill. Holy crap. Man, this thing's got some torque, though. You can almost get there with this. Yeah, look at this thing move backward. It's like it's like straight as an arrow. So I think the idea here is that let me slow down here so we can go ahead and recreate this issue. I think that the idea here is that the front needs to be uh, less, more narrow, and the back we're gonna make like maybe super wide. And I think maybe that'll kind of help us get on the I don't know, get on the straight path here, so that we can kind of mess around and keep this thing a growing. All right, grab this, put this little. Piece. Oh, 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 come on now. Don't you do this to me. There we go. Put that little piece right about there. Oh, yeah. The back's going to be much, much wider now. Maybe even too wide. But is there such a thing as too wide? More girth, I always say. Let's put that right there. We'll go ahead and grab our wheel here and try and stick it on in. You boys know how it is. A little bit of aim never hurt anyone. Come on, baby. Get on there. Get on the freaking. Get on the piece right there. Nope. A little bit. Ah. No, I want to be one over toward the rear here. One more over. Oh, look. Come on. Oh, editing mayhem. It's going to be freaking horrible. Oh, the editing. I can already feel it in my bones. Let me see if I can get this one first try. Oh, it's so close. There we go. Okay. I think that right there should be good for the wheels. Actually, I'm going to save this before I blow this thing up. Always. Oh, save often, boys. 
me tell you something. All right, now everything's kind of equal right now. The front we can make, oh, it's very bouncy. The back is very, very bouncy at the moment. What in the hell is going on here? Man, all this game needs is some beer and sausage and we'll be in freaking business. There we go. All right, so the front is kind of coming along here. Now all we have to do is just highlight these pieces. Nope, not those pieces, just just the tire, the suspension, and the and the, the steering element right there. There we go. And son of a Woo! There we go. Now we've got the front where I want it to. Still not enough power though. I think that I think that all we need is a couple more engines and we'll be pretty damn golden though. It's starting to it's starting to drive a lot easier. Um, and this is with I think I think we have two steering chunks in the front. I can even get rid uh yeah, see right over here. I can even get rid of these and just replace this with these blocks, and I think we'll be even better on the steering. All right, one down over there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one as well. There we have it. Put down the old one by two, and we should be set up in just short order here. I, it needs to look better, though. The problem is that the aesthetics of this big beast here is a little bit plain. I feel like I want it to look just cooler or something like that. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to get that appearance in. All right, we got it. Let's check her out here. So speed wise, what the hell was that? Something just kicked out my tail end. What a bunch of crap. I don't even know what that is. This wall is like, it's like the end all be all. All we have to do is get up this wall. Again, people, a lot of people are making rockets and stuff like this. I just wanna make this all terrain vehicle Super long and crazy as I can. Uh, yeah, a couple of rockets never hurt anyone. And normally you want these kind of level and not like on the back like this, but we're not going to be doing any flying, so I think we'll be all right. Oh, you can hear them powering up. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Just kind of line on up here and then... Bwah! Yeah! Give me that power! Give me that power! Oh, it's working. It's working. It's working. Yes! Yes, undulate up the hill! Yes! Oh yeah, we could just drive over everything like it's nothing, no problem at all. Oh, now we're moving, boys. Now we've got it. Oh yeah. Now it 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 does give a little bit of kick out the back, just because of the uh, just because of the way our uh, our vehicle can kind of flip flop. Oh, a jump. Hold on, maybe we can do this. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this is so bad. We're not gonna get enough speed at all. Oh, whoa! All right, a little bit of a wipe out there. No, not into the water. Not into the water. You can fly, baby! Yes! Oh, we got to the other side. Oh, 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 oh. Just catch yourself on the edge. Catch yourself on the edge. Just drag yourself up. Drag yourself up. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Good, good. Yes! Excellent, my child. Oh, it's doing it! It's working pretty good, actually. Yeah! Once you start getting a little bit too much speed, though, things start going a little bit haywire. Oh, crap. Oh, all right. Nope, not into the water. Okay, I guess we can go into the water. Maybe we can survive? No. Across the moat with you. Yes. All right, man. We're starting to do stunts and stuff with this. Like, it's it's legitimately starting to work. Now, I think, I wonder if part of the reason that the back end is driving so straight is because our turning's in the front. I wonder what would happen if we turned our, turned, if we made our turning in the back instead. I was very curious while I was building this, like four more of these things got made. I, I don't even know really where they came from. Uh, that's very curious. They just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and get rid of the turning here in the front. We'll replace them with the little static blocks and then we'll see how this drives. All right, I think that'll do it. Man, my buddies were saying that, oh God, what have I done? Oh no, what sort of, what sort of strange levels of derp have I done to the rear end? Oh crap, look at this. Look at this, it's like it's, it's like it's doing the limbo or something like that. It actually kind of looks like headlights on the front where the rockets are. Actually looks kind of neat. All right, I gotta fix this, hold on. Well, it looks strange, but oddly it, it drives not terribly. Like the back end it likes to wobble a little, wow, all right, I just lost part of the wheels. All right, now I just lost the entire back end. The, the back end likes to wobble quite a bit. Okay, getting caught on the tree, not really the best idea here. Let's try, well, okay, hold on, stop, stop, stop. For the love of God, stop, 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 right there, stop. Yes, good, okay, there we go. Nice little repair job, we're set again. All right, we can turn to the left. Yes, good. 
Um, it's like, it's like we're sweeping the floor, if you notice. It's kind of like a broom handle. Just kind of swipping around down here. Yeah, having the rear as the turning is probably not what we're going to want to do. All right, how about if we have slightly less snake-like elements? Maybe we'll put, like, one in the middle and we'll extend it, like, one more time, but we'll just connect this with some blocks. Hold on here. Let me see. So if we take one of these and we kind of flip it around like this and then we drop her right in the right down here you got you guys know how it is you just gotta all right we'll just kind of drop it low drop it low low damn it there we have it all right just gotta move it over one no big deal yes yes okay that's it all right how about that how about if we have that like that now it's not quite as oh all right all right yeah Ooh. well this drives pretty good yes now this is more like it, boys. This is what I'm talking about. Now I have, all right, man. Now we've got precision. We've got grace. We've got everything. Hold on, I'm going flying off of this. There we go, yes. We can even land jumps and stuff like that. Hold on, where's all, where's all my rocks at? I'm gonna try and go over some rocks here. I think we're gonna need bigger tires though. Yeah, yes, yes, perfect. Now we're the rock crawler I always wanted to be. How about over here by this tree? I think that, I, yeah, but I think it just, it needs to be like taller somehow. Crap, we just got broken in half. No. All right, there we go. Luckily, in games like this, a fix is as easy as uh, pressing the F button. So not really a big deal. Okay. So that's the idea. But now the big question is, how do we make it taller? We need it taller. We need more clearance underneath here. And I think I know how I want to do it. By God, I think this could work. What sort of evil being are we creating here today? Either way, it's kind of... Damn it. There we go. Okay. Either way, it's kind of happening, man. It's starting to come together. Enough trial and error. And believe me, there's been some trial and error. Enough trial and error, and I think we're gonna get there. Let's go ahead and grab our little tire right here, and just kind of put it right on the bottom portion over here like that. There we go, now we're getting some clearance underneath. Oh wow, that's a lot of clearance underneath. I like that this game allows you to make duplicates of stuff. It makes, it makes some of the tedium a lot easier this way. Like I could probably, ooh, there we go. Yeah, right there. I could probably, if I wanted to, make duplicates of this chunk and then just extend it outward over and over again. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do after I just replicate this tire over here with this side. Oh my god, I've been trying to get this freaking wheel on the frame for like the last 10 minutes. Just get on the frame. What is, what is the problem? Why is this such an issue? Just connect. Connect to the frame. Just connect to the freakish frame that I have constructed. Just get on there. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes! Yes! Okay, I think it's happened. Let's go ahead and save this real quick, put it on the ground, get inside, and test her out. Oh, yeah. Yes, now we've got some clearance on the ground. Oh, the clearance may be a little bit too much! The clearance may be a little bit too much. No! No, I want my clearance. Oh, it's, it's bouncing a little bit too much now. When it was lower to the ground, it drove so much better. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh boy! All right, yeah, staying low is definitely the way to go. Raising it up like that was a bad idea. This is much, much better right here. Oh yeah, we, we can traverse much easier. So I guess the question then is how long can we possibly make this? All right, we just take this and then we duplicate it and then we drag it and try and pin the tail on the donkey over here for 20 minutes. And I think that we will have extended our critter. Oh, wow, yeah, this is, this is, oh yeah. We're gonna double in length, double in length overnight. No pills needed, boys, here we go. I just gotta get, you just gotta get the aim on correctly. I think we're almost there. That's like a 90 percentile right there, getting real close. There we go, bam, got it, okay, good. Let's try that. Oh, I think the game's gonna start giving us problems soon. Now, we do have two areas that it's turning right now. One in the middle and one on the front. Ooh. You know, it's turning pretty good, really. I mean, well, the turns are wide now. Don't, don't, let's, let's not, let's not hash words, but, oh, God, don't do, don't do the, 
Don't do the cap away or whatever in over here in the back. All right, kind of right about there. Yeah, we're getting we're getting a lot of motion in the tail. Look at that. It's kind of like a giant caterpillar or something. Honestly, though, it's not running too bad once you get the hang of it. What? As long as you don't get seasick easily. Uh, yep, let's hit every tire against the old, uh, <laughs> the old flag right there. All right, maybe we'll go ahead and get rid of this swivel now. I think if we get rid of this swivel, we just add a little piece in the middle right over here. We should be okay to stabilize the rest of the snake vehicle. Kind of put her right, well, not there. Let's go put her right in the, get in the hole, right in the middle of the hole, way down. All right, nope, way over here. There we, yes, 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 no, yes, yes. Okay, good, right there, yes, do that. Do that, that should do a lot better. Okay, how's this working? All right, well. See if we can. Let's see if we can. Austin powers our way out of here real quick. There we go. Yes. And then just kind of turn it like this, and like this. There we. There it is. Well, we made it even bigger. I think that we're onto something here. Um, it moves decently. Not a ton of speed to it, but it can kind of like climb up walls and stuff too. It's a pretty jacked up creature. Look at this. It'll. It'll. It'll get you there, especially with the little rocket propulsion on the back. This thing is a hell of a rock climber. Um, hold on, let's see if we can climb up this piece of rock here. This is almost a sheer cliff face. Now, it gets a little twisted every once in a while. Look at the front end. The front end's all jacked up. Now, hold on, let me see if I can go ahead and regenerate this. It also likes to get- Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was bad. Come on, regenerate somehow. Yes. I was gonna say, it also likes to get caught in the side of mountains because it's like way too big. Hold on, let me try this again. Let's see if we can get up, see if we can get up this cliff face here. Oh, you know what we're gonna need? More rockets. I think that's the idea here. More rockets will get us exactly to where we wanna be. The more rockets, the better, I always say. Let's put another one right there. And then we'll throw another one right about over here. There we go. Man, the rockets slide into place really good. What the hell? And we can put a couple more on this. Well, actually, we, man, we can put rockets all over this thing. Hmm. I wonder. All right. There we go. I figured if we're going to do it, we might as well do it up big time. We've got... I don't even know how many rockets on there. Oh. Oh, can you hear them warming up? Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 it's a glowing snake now. Oh, God. Oh, what has happened here? Okay, let's, um, oh, no. Half of it's already broken. I wonder what happens if we ignite them all at the same time. Oh, Lord in heaven. Oh, wow. It just pulled into a million pieces. Can this thing even interconnect again? Half of it's, oh, I guess it can heal. I was going to say half of it's still at the top of the mountain. I'm really surprised. That this thing went back into one piece. Okay, with all these rockets. Well, let me see if I can get let me see if I can get us aimed up here a little bit. Get up the rocks, my child! Get up the rocks! Okay, don't get up the rocks. Just run into the rocks. Oh, the pieces are flying and the frame rate is absolutely destroyed. Man! Hold on, I gotta stop this thing for a second and show you guys something. Going backwards? This thing is so solid. Like, it's like perfect going backwards. Why is that? Watch this. It's like glorious. It's like straight as an arrow going backwards. It doesn't turn worth a damn. But going backwards, it is just lusciously straight. Going forward, you almost have to drive it like you would a snake. It's really weird. See this? Yeah, once you start like getting your little bit of wobble on, you can start to really kind of turn. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can straighten this up right about here. All we have to do is just touch the rocks. Touch the rocks. Hit the thrusters. And we are a climbing. Okay, we're climbing a little bit sideways now, but the climbing still counts. Just kind of, it's more almost like a whip. It's almost like we're whipping our way up the side of the mountain. We have, we have managed to get our, <laughs> we have managed to get up the mountain. Just not probably in the best way possible. Oh, in retrospect, I should have just made a rocket. This thing took forever to make, but it kind of does what I wanted it to do, which is it gets it gets up basically any terrain just about. Even when it runs into stuff, it can... Well, that was a bad example. 
Well, I was gonna say, even when it sometimes runs into stuff, it can really get you there. This thing has, hold on, here's some good rocks over here. Let's see if we can get through them. Yeah, sometimes it also just like rips in half. Oh wow, pieces are really going flat. What, what did I pick? I picked like the sharpest rock in the entire map. What the hell? And as the derp snake rides off into the sunset in the free cam style, I think that that's enough of this thing for right now. It was, it was cool to try. It just needs a lot of fine tuning to get to the point where it's like accurately and appropriately a true rock crawler. Like it does crawl on rocks. It's just really hard to kind of move around and stuff. It could be a lot better. I do like the various rockets on the back. It just may be a little bit too much power. I hate to say, I hate to admit it, but it's possible it's just too much. So, if you guys have any suggestions on how to make the rock crawl a little bit bigger, I think we're just gonna have to make it smaller because it's destroying the frame rate too. There's just so many physics and moving pieces, it just doesn't work real well. Oh, it's so, it's such a pleasure to, to drive though. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was a real pleasure to create too. What about, well, there's pieces rocketing into the sky, what the hell? But man, I'll tell you, if you go in reverse, Things are just fine. Let's go ahead and run into this tree right here. Blah! There we go. And as the chunks litter the landscape of this strange and alien world, I bid you guys adieu. That's enough trail makers for right now. This is like two hours of video I had to cram into this. Oh, building is just, it could be a little bit more optimized, I think, just the way it works. Um, it's not bad at all. But I think that some vehicles lend themselves to be much more easily created than others. And I think a vehicle like this is just kind of a pain in the ass. But anyway, folks, are you messing around with the game at all? If you are, I know you can save your, uh, your creation as like a PNG and then other people can download it. And then they can load your creation into the game. So if you want me to check out yours, I don't know if any of you guys are playing this. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'll check it out. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.